Hello again everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to infuse oil with an Instapot or pressure cooker. But before we get into today's video, folks, if you wouldn't mind, if you're new here to the channel, please consider subscribing. For those of you that have subscribed, thank you so much. I do appreciate the support. If you guys are looking to support our farm or use the exact same herbs we're using today, please check out our website link in the description of this video. Okay folks, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make infused oil with an Instapot. Now it's really easy and obviously you're going to need an Instapot or an off-brand uh, pressure cooker. You're going to need a mason jar and a top. You're also going to need herb of some sort. Now this is the herb we produce here on the farm. If you guys don't know, we are a registered hemp farm. So this is what we produce here on the farm. We're going to be using our Biox strain today. Uh, but you can really use anything. If you guys want rosemary infused oil, this exact recipe, change out the herb, you can have rosemary infused oil. So the really cool thing about this recipe is it's very universal and you can use it for pretty much anything that you want to infuse into oil. Alright folks, so let's dive right into it. Let me show you how to get started today. Alright folks, so let's get into how to make infused oil with your Instapot. Now obviously if you're watching this video, you most likely have an Instapot, but you will definitely need one for this recipe. You also need two cups of water. You will need MCT oil or a, some sort of carrier oil. Coconut oil works and butter works, but you have to melt that stuff down so it's in a liquid form before you use it. You can also use olive oil, but today we have MCT oil. It's the best carrier oil out there as far as absorption rate. You will need an herb of some sort. Like I said, you can use rosemary, but here on the farm we produce our own. And that's what we're going to be using today. I've already measured out 14 grams. One of the tricks to this, if you purchase it from us and you get the whole flowers, you will, the night before, put this in the freezer, um, take it out in the morning when you're getting ready to make this, and scrunch it up so that the flowers are all crunched up and they're ground up. That's just the easy, no mess way to do it. You can do it by hand. You can also use a food processor, but if, if we ship it to you in this bag, throw it in the freezer, next morning, scrunch it up, you're good to go. And the last thing you'll need is a strainer of some sort. Cheesecloth works. Uh, we have this strainer from a company uh, that we use all the time. Um, so that's what we'll use to strain it after the oil has been in the Instapot. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to want to decarb your flour. This is unique to this particular process. I believe you can do it with rosemary or another herb too. So we've already measured out 14 grams. This is a single batch. You can do two of these in the Instapot if you wish, but you know we have an ounce package here. We measured half. Boom, we have it in the jar. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to put our two cups of water in the Instapot. This is to decarb the flour now. So all you have in here is the flour. So you take it, you seal it up, you put the top on it, you're good to go. You go ahead, you put that in. Now all you need to do is make sure that it's on uh, sealing. You're going to go over here, you're going to hit pressure cook, you're going to have it for 30 minutes. And that's it. So in 30 minutes, I'll see you guys. This will be decarbed, and then we'll go in to infusing the oil. So now we're going to release the pressure of this. And you're going to want to release that, obviously, before you go ahead and open the lid. It actually won't let you open the lid um, when it releases. You're going to want to make sure you turn the whole thing off so that it's not continuously building pressure because you have water in there. And one thing you're going to want to grab is a glove or an oven mitt. So I'm going to go grab my glove and then we're going to take the jar out of the Instapot. Okay, so here I have a silicone glove. You can use uh, any type of oven mitt should work um, as long as you keep it dry, don't let it get wet. So this is ready to open. I'm going to let that water go in there and it is decarb. Now one cool thing about this method is the smell. It does not smell nearly as strong as it is with other methods like the crock pot and all that. All right, so that is decarb. We're going to let that cool off for a minute. And while we're letting that cool off, we are going to measure eight ounces of MCT oil. So we're going to go ahead and measure that. Eight ounces is also one cup. So it should be pretty easy.
All right, now if you want to open your lid, if it's still really warm, you can just use oven mitts and try to open it up nice and easy. You're going to hear some pressure. Not a big deal. Okay. Now you're gonna now the smell will will penetrate the air. So if you're worried about smell in any way, shape, or form, this is where you would turn your vents on. You could wait for it to cool down a little bit, take it outside if you want to. Um, but you know, this is when you're gonna get that smell release. So now we're gonna take the eight ounces of MCT oil and go ahead and fill the jar. Now, if it doesn't quite cover it, you can add a little bit more. It's not going to hurt it. Just to, just to cover it up, you can swirl it around. Make sure everything is kind of floating in there. And that's it. Now you're going to cover it back up. Make sure it's nice. Good to go. Here it is. Okay, you can see everything's floating around. All the flowers are covered. You're going to go back into the water bath. Now, this is why it's important that you turn it off because if you don't turn off the keep warm, it's going to keep getting steam. It's actually really hard to put the lid back on. All right, so now we're going to go to pressure cook again. We're going to do 40 minutes this time, and I will see you guys in 40 minutes. This went off a little bit ago, and this is ready to decompress. So we're going to go ahead and do the same thing we did before. We're going to get our glove. Once this loses pressure, we'll be able to take it out. Make sure that we're not sending any boiling water our way. And here we have it, your infused oil with herbs of your choice. Now we're gonna let this cool off a little bit, maybe get it to where we can open this while it's hot. All right, that way you can just cool off. You're gonna want it to cool off just a little bit. Now, if you have a silicone glove like this, what you can do now is get your measuring cup back. Go ahead and put your strainer in the measuring cup. Now, again, this could be a cheesecloth, it could be anything. And then you can take the glass jar and dumping it. Now you want all the material going in there. Now this jar is very hot, so if you don't have a silicone glove or a good oven mitt, I don't recommend it. Wait for it to cool off a little bit. Now we're just gonna squeeze this bag, get all the excess oil out, And there you have it. Now what you can do is put it back in this jar. You can put it in a squeeze bottle. However you want to do it. That is your infused oil. Whatever container you want to keep it in for shelf life or you know, wherever you want it. Uh, this is um, good to put on the pantry, in the pantry, on the shelf, whatever. Uh, you, know, you can put it back in the mason jar once you clean everything up. You can put it in a bottle, anything you want to do. But that is it for today, folks. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment on the video. Uh, let me know if you guys have questions. Again, if you want to support the farm and you want to purchase your herbs from us, please check out our website link in the description below. Any and all support for our farm is greatly appreciated. Uh, if you want to find us on Facebook and Instagram, those links will be in the description as well. But folks, that is it for today. I hope you all stay happy, healthy, and I will see you in another video.